Okay, so a quick look at this backpack, uh, just so you can see some of the stuff included. Looks like it has a little tool here. And honestly, I'm not even sure what that is exactly, but it looks like a little bit of a wrench tool as well. And it has a lanyard attached. This one has an optional lanyard. This piece is what allows you to mount for the different uh, piping that's included. You can see here, we've got one mounted. And then it comes with this piece for the GoPro, which we have on here. So you have some adjustability, some length adjustment, and you can see where it attaches inside. And you can close that up. And there's some different pockets if you want to carry anything. There's a waist strap and a chest strap that tightens this to your chest. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to, you know, ride on the go-kart with this or other things. Right now we don't have the uh, four-wheeler running, but it comes with a carrying pouch for the arm for the GoPro mount. And then of course here's the box that it comes with and it comes with some instructions as well. So it has some pretty good padding on it. it seems to be very, very durable as far as all the stitching and materials. The buckles are very uh, nice in terms of you know, how they clamp and everything. The zippers all function and work fine. And there is, like I said, some spare room to carry a little bit of extra stuff with it. Uh, there's a mount here in the event you want to actually put a rear-facing uh, mount on the back, the go, uh, the go pack or go bag or whatever you want to call this thing. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that really quickly and uh, we'll throw some video in, recorded from the GoPro riding around with it. Of course, stabilization is going to be an issue, but you know that's to be expected with this, as you can see right there on the box. It's basically what we're going to be doing, but uh, maybe not as fast. Anyway, if you want to find out more, you can check out the link below.
packing this back up for right now. It's getting kind of dark out here. So overall, this worked out pretty well. Um, as you can do you know, different things. You can go out both sides of the backpack with it. Uh, even though we tightened it, what we thought was really, really tight, it seemed to move around um, as far as, like you see how it goes up right here. It was leaning further forward or leaning further back. In my case, it leaned further forward, which I guess is better. So I don't know what the video is going to look like yet. I haven't reviewed that, but I'm going to include the video and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So maybe we have to just like tighten it really, really tight, but I you know, really don't want to damage it. So uh, I guess next time you know, we'll try it again. But uh, for now, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. Uh, going to be a while before we have anything else that's really fun to, to do that can utilize the, uh, the backpack. So, uh, by any means, um, hopefully you find that kind of useful, kind of get an idea of what to expect. So, I'm going to go ahead and pack this thing back up. But, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's built really well. Just, you got to tighten it super tight to keep it from uh, shifting, you know, this way, back and forth when it's mounted. Okay? Again, if you want to find out more, link below you can read more about it find out uh, you know what other people's reviews have to say about it and you know, things like that thanks